I did they buff the lifesteal value on Katana? I can't remember off the top uh, of my head. It's still twelve. It's still twelve at th at three. Uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure it was twelve at three. But they Wait, so with, you're uh, paying uh, you're paying like one k gold for AD collector and ten damage? That's yes, that's pretty rough. That is yeah, basically. really rough. Holy fuck! Yeah, so it's not not that worth. Mm -hmm. Rip. Really? All right, let's see how. All right, I'm definitely gonna see how fast I can farm a soul taker in CC. I still think that mm -hmm. it was a buff, like what they just did here, but right, it's it's a buff, but it's I'm it's not enough. It's expensive, and it's yeah, it's still soul taker. Yeah, it's you, I don't know. It's like items. They're just items that are better. Right. Could like, all right. So here's yeah, like like just look at just like look at the new shades can. You get 42 damage. Right. For like a thousand less. All right, so I'm gonna bring up League because a lot of the items have been kind of influenced by items in League, right? So Soul Taker Katana in our current iteration is like old Bloodthirster, uh, and what they did with Bloodthirster is they just like buffed the life steal, but they got rid of the collector part, and then they added like the the shield thing or whatever. The and shield we, is amazing. Which it, yes, it is that. amazing. By the way, like. Bloodthirster shield, great. Bloodthirster Blood has seventy attack damage, though, doesn't it? Yeah, that's, seventy or eighty. That's 80. 80, 80, 80. Yeah, you see, like it just needs to be stronger, right. basically. So, um, can we can we just like maybe like buff the AD a little bit and like buff the life steal a little bit and just get rid of the AD collector? Like the problem, like, the the difference between league and like this game is just like uh, there's a there's a difference between like assassin and right. uh ad carry um items so you can get away with like putting 80 damage on like soul taker because like you'll be able to carry late game as AD. Right. you do like massive amounts of damage in this game like the difference in i see the difference which is um like assassins and ad's pretty much build the same items yeah so like right. you can't you can't buff one item without buffing an entire class right. and like that's why i don't know like you can't I think that's gonna change this patch though. Because plus, Batman's utility built. Yeah, that's true. Um, yeah. We can talk about Batman but that, utility build next. That's like a utility thing. So like that's why you don't. Wait, hold on. What does it do? Ah, right, uh, yeah. Go on. I gotta read this. Okay, so so Soul Taker, like, you know, it. it I think they also want to keep Life Steal kind of weak just because of how Life Steal works in IC. So <laughs> like your phys, like all of your physical damage, right, or like attack damage works with Life Steal. So you throw. Uh, you throw a night bat Q, you get healed if you have life steal. Like, I think they're trying to purposefully keep it weak. And you know, compared to League, where life steal literally only works if you have an auto attack ability, or you auto attack a lot, which uh, makes it, you know, exclusively pretty much for AD carries. Or you know, bruisers have their own like life steal itemization, like Hydra uh, and stuff like that. So, I don't know, like. Uh, I just wish it was better as an item. Yeah, it just needs more attack damage. I think adding 10 on max strength is a good mm -hmm. start. Because then you can mod it for 10 more, and boom, it's a 60 attack damage item that you can stock up a little more, which yeah. is always good. Right, that's not bad. For the price, I think that will be pretty good. But mm -hmm. it wouldn't be broken. Mm -hmm. Alright, uh, Katie Fair, have you read the Batman's utility belt change? Uh, something about skilled attack. Right. Yeah. So tier three, uh, you get thirty AD, twenty two hundred health, and ten CDR with the skilled attack for twenty seven fifty. Which seems pretty good for a bruiser. Yeah, it, it like adds that whole sort of sustainable damage on your auto attacks, which they want to, uh, you know. They they've emphasized the thing about bruisers differentiating from assassins, where assassins deal basically their damage from their skills, and bruisers doing their damage from auto attacks. Right, and it also I, I like it a lot because you know now you don't have to go into sysim for skilled attack, which not many bruisers really did. Like the only one I can think of that you would maybe do it on is Superman. Superman was hybrid though. It worked on yeah. Superman. It worked on yeah. Superman because he didn't he didn't waste the power damage. Yeah. Um. So, 
I like I like this now because it it opens it up to like all the bruisers, or get it, at least the skilled attack keyword. Well, I think assassins sure. are gonna build this too. I don't see why not. Yeah, yeah, I don't. I still don't see why not for an assassin. Like, which is I, which I think it's good because it opens up kind of like you know different build paths. I guess. Yeah. That that changes you know changes them from you know what ADCs build from time to time. Right. Just really quick, like Gas Cat, Ga Gas Cat's W applies on hits, right? Yeah, yeah, it does. Yeah, I I would build this on a Gas Cat. Atomic Wonder Woman's W, which oh, I think yeah. Atomic Wonder Woman is pretty weak, contrary to pro popular belief. MXL always told me Sysim Sysim A Dubs was OP. Yeah, now now he can do it and get away with it. Yeah. You <laughs> now you now it's Batman's uh, A Dubs. Batman's uh, utility belt. Yeah. A -dubs. I'll yeah. try it. I'll try it. Um. But yeah, like now, now bruisers or assassins who want that skilled attack won't feel as bad now. And they'll feel really good about buying it. All right. Um, what else could we? What else could we talk about? Uh, I want to talk about. Go ahead. Uh yeah, I think blue scarab that changes them very good, and also, I think, I mean, since we're trying to save time, I don't think we should talk about like what, the AP items at all because it's just like a whole mess. Right. Just uh, I want to talk about the reflect because that's a pretty yeah. big change. You blue scare it right there. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what to try to do with that. Uh, <laughs> the item's just kind of there. How many people built blue scare before this change anyway? Well, blue scare is just like a niche item. It's just right. there. There isn't any on hit AP champions, so nobody's right. gonna build it. See, if flash was never changed, then yeah. Yeah. It would be built. Well, I mean, blue scare was core on flash before. Yeah, because he was an unhit AP mm -hmm. champion. Mm -hmm. so now there isn't any more, so... I can't... I don't know. I can't think of anyone that would build this, so... It's yeah, just... it's just a just bunch of random numbers put put in there. It just doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. I feel like if they want to give Brewster a full regen, they need to put her on a tank item, such as Metallo's Heart, for example. Yeah? That, that yep. could work. Because it used to give Will before, and now yeah. they just gave it health and stuff. Since I see kind of like drifted to, you know, well, should be built on controllers. Right. Then they could just give it will regen. Yeah. I think that works fine. All right. But it shouldn't be on this item. This item doesn't work on anything. Why would you build this on a bruiser? And it's just, things going to be too squishy. Mm hmm. And it's too expensive as well. Yeah, 3,000 total point. is. Wow. That's a lot. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Uh, like, it's good tack damage, but. Yeah, okay, I was gonna say the is... AD looks really good, like fifty, because like the rest know? of it is not is not good for bruisers. Like right. I would, um, I would definitely consider this on cyborg. You know, <laughs> like very like out there pick on cyborg. Yeah, if, like, no, I could because of the because of the well regen, but like even then, I probably would, I don't know. I feel like you could get better itemization. Raw, the raw yeah, stats right. Good, I think. What's up? Yeah. The raw stats on that aren't good enough for the price. Yeah. So. Yeah. Like this would be this would be like that like I'm um, trying something new kind of All thing. Right, but otherwise, yeah. Okay. Uh, so pseudo sorrows and mirror masters, because uh, pseudo sorrows and mirror masters are building being built in like every tank, every game, when it's supposed to be like you know a situational kind of thing or whatever. It was just way too good. Especially the stupid modded uh, Reflex, because it was, if I remember right, 40%. Yep. And yeah. Lifesteal is very weak, to the point where Power Lifesteal isn't really a stat. Um, yeah. And Lifesteal, like Attack Lifesteal is very rarely built, if not super late into the game. So, um, I'm really glad that they're nerfing. Uh that they're nerfing Reflect because it makes it easier to kind of play against it. Because like, if if you're playing, if you're Gas Bat, right, and you're like trying to kill a Gas Joku as a Suda Sorrows, you're not gonna kill him. Like he's, you're gonna kill yourself on him. Yep. Yeah, thirty. It's uh being reduced from forty to thirty. Thirty is still pretty high. Yeah, that's true. But like. I don't know. It just it forty still still seemed like super super high for like. Um, well, the problem was you reflect forty percent, and that like the number is huge. Like the number right. that, like, AP that uh that power damage is doing is huge. 
So you're reflecting 40% of a huge number on somebody who has a very small health pool. Right. And, like, the calculations were done in a way that the person with the Mirror Masters took less damage because it was, what was it, calculated before? Yeah. Um, before resistances. Mm-hmm. And then they and the resistances apply, so they didn't take any damage. They did, like they took hardly any damage, and then they dealt all of that back. 40% even if they damage. had, yeah, and even if they had uh, power life steal, it didn't heal them. Mm-hmm. So like you build power life steal because people have reflect, and then you don't heal yourself. You just die. Yeah. So that was a problem. Mm-hmm. You know, that's why we weren't. That's why we weren't playing like, like blasters. It's because you just like have two mirror masters. Like your both your tanks build mirror mm-hmm. masters, and that your, your your blaster kills themselves. Mm-hmm. So. Okay. It's, it's I actually bad. thought Pseudo Sorrow was like, wasn't broken. I thought it was like decent in the in a decent spot. Mirror masters was was really broken. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think Pseudo Sorrow was fine. Like Pseudo Sorrow was like, twenty five percent. It was costly, but it did its job, and it didn't like it. You didn't like, you didn't play somebody who did attack damage and be like, ah, shit, I'm killing myself really hard on Sudasaras. But you're like, damn, I'm not doing much damage, and it still hurts. Mm-hmm. But like Mirror Masters, you just like, I am not doing any damage, and I literally don't have any health. Right now, I'm just dead. I thought Sudasaras was fine, but Mirror Masters was a problem. So okay, yeah, you know. understandable. I'm glad that they're nerfing Mirror Masters, but Sudasaras. Didn't necessarily need need it, mm-hmm. but I guess they're trying to do it so people build other items because Sudasaros and Mirror Masters was, was built every game. Yeah, so like I don't know. I I think Sudasaros like it was it was really good, right? And then, like you said, maybe it wasn't like like it was a really really good armor item. It was like super cost efficient, yada yada. But like uh, Mirror Masters was just too good and these would always be built like pretty much one after the other um so like if you were against like a power damage centric team you just get a mirror masters and then a suit of sorrows because if you're a tank you you need armor for like towers and stuff right so like both of them i think combined it was just like you can't really who are you gonna have kill this tank yeah you have to realize that if a mr punchy was doing 500 damage with the Burn included from Cosmic Stuff late game, mm-hmm. and you hit a Gas Joker, the Gas Joker gets hit for 200 or even less, like 150. Right. And the Joker will get hit by 200 damage in return, just because right. of. Just because, because of, of the. Masters. And then and then you know he'll like take damage from the burning, like it, it, you just like deal more damage to yourself than you deal to them, and that is, and then you're healing for like maybe like 50. Mm-hmm. Like. He would heal for fifty, take two hundred, so you, it's not a good trade. The Mirror Masters was just broken and all. It's just that reflect was way too much. I still feel thirty percent is too much though. Mm-hmm. It should be. I do. I yeah. like. I the fact it's and since it still applies before the reductions, like thirty percent is like it's only ten percent, but that's still a, a lot of damage you're doing right. to yourself. You're just killing yourself a little bit slower, but you're still killing yourself. Mm-hmm. Instead of hitting yourself for two hundred, you get hit for one fifty. Yeah, it's it's not that so bad. It's, I think we could uh we could take a like a for for league they got rid of a lot of MR items because um like casters a mage class they only do damage through their spells right sometimes yeah. they have something like a like a lich bane you know right. so they can maybe do a little damage out of their auto attacks but they're mostly dependent on their on their spells yeah. so if you reduce that damage you're effectively neutering like the entire class in general. That's why we see like AD oh, carry right, mid or right, marksman right. mid, something like that. So like maybe they need to reduce the mirror masters down to like ten and make the mod do twenty because I still like thirty is ridiculous. I they gotta yeah. they gotta like really well, think about thing. that. This kind of this kind of item doesn't exist in League of Legends. Right. Yeah. Like, you know. Good they reason. That item. It, it exists at one point. Yeah, longer, but, but then they removed it because they were like, "Well, this is like way too broken." Yeah. It doesn't like you're just like because the thing with the thing with marksmen is like they do they we do damage in a sustained way yep. yeah and it's not like a huge chunk of damage and blasters do huge chunks of damage and they're like I just 
I just like used all my spells. Oh shit! I can't take that back. I just killed myself. Yeah. Like eighty. <laughs> like Markspin is just like I hit you. I'm like poo poo, and then I'm like, oh wait, this hurts. I'm gonna stop. Right. <laughs> I'm gonna stop. Like blasters, you can't do that, and then they didn't do any damage. So they're like you're like ah, oh, I'll trade my life for his, and then and it doesn't work that way. You just die. <laughs> so it's bad. They either need to like, just lower that or just remove the item altogether. I think that's already like a decent amount of. Could could you lower? Could you maybe lower just the power armor that it gives? I mean, that wouldn't really change that the fact that you still kill yourself. Right. Yeah. Yeah, like that. It 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 would make it so that the person who built Mirror Masters would take more damage, but you'd still kill yourself. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, it, it might be. It wouldn't change. It wouldn't change how fast you die. Mm -hmm. As the blaster. Mm -hmm. It might be uh, worth it, though, to, like, com maybe you should, like, completely remove the power armor aspect and just have the mirror reflect damage, because then at least you're trading one for you're one. You're paying twenty seven fifty for for 150 health. Per Yo, if you have a, if you have, you're going to get some fed blast here. I, I would, I would say that's, a, that's fine, though, because you're paying for... 40, you're paying for 30% reflect on a yeah. on a skill that does like 500 600 damage. Yeah. Okay. So you're reflecting you like it effectively gets you 300 guaranteed damage. Right. Against somebody without actually having to do anything other than get hit. Uh so I'd say that's worth because at the right. moment you just you like literally brain dead. Like we played this game like me and on our team, we play the game and like somebody would we play blaster and then be like, "Hey, Stand, stand in, stand in Joker's ultimate. You'll kill him. Just stand in it. You don't take damage. <laughs> you wouldn't take any damage, and he'd just die. He'd just like be anywhere on the map. He'd be dying because you're standing in his ultimate. Right. I was trying to do that to Zatura in the show matches. At the, uh, the end of game one, he threw his ult down. I was like, "Oh, let me stay in." Here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. You, just, you can't. You can't do that. You right. Just die. You kill yourself. Okay. Um, so, so really, you killed that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really quick, uh, because we're getting really uh, long on time. Uh, does anyone want to talk about any specific artifacts, or should we just move on to the next topic really quick? I think we just go to the next topic. All right, so PAX is coming up uh, this weekend. Uh, Katy Perry holding up his three day pass upside down. Oh, that's upside down. <laughs> uh, so Thank he's going to be there. Uh, I'm also going to be there. Uh, I've now formally announced it. I've just like casually mentioned it on like Twitter and stuff. Just like, but like, I don't know if people really knew I was going to be there. So I will actually be there. Um, you know, taking, you know, helping out turbine with everything. They're flying me out just like they did last year. It's really cool of them, uh, to do that for me. So really appreciative of turbine. Um, and there's going to be a whole Coast City theme booth there, and they're teasing a very big special announcement uh, at PAX. So let's let's take some speculation as to see what it is. Um, so does anyone have any anything they want to say about this announcement? It's been a long time since the game has been in beta. Uh huh. Let's release the game. All right. So you're you're gonna you're gonna bank on uh release date. Yeah, I guess so. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Uh, GS, do you have any clues or do you have any speculation as to what the announcement could be? I have no idea. Oh, just, just I hope it's of... something. I hope it's something like tournament related. Yeah. For a lot of money. That would be pretty nice. Yeah, that'd be nice. So the uh the world championship worth like ten million dollars? I'm about it. I I don't think world championship, but I think maybe like the announced game scale and dream hack or something like that. That yeah, would be cool. Yeah. I'm uh so Tur, do you have any? Yeah, dude. Team C, team brawl, merging, super oh. team. Oh damn! Oh man! Oh wait, wait, this wait! wait. Be, the question, this is, gonna the be... question is, who gets cut? That's the big question. <laughs> Nah, dude, it's just gonna add ten people. Easy. Telly gets cut for for Cheery. Boom. All right, super Damn. team go. Shots fired. Super Jesus. team go. Jesus okay. Christ. I'm making my own super team. All right, genre genre is not kicked for I'm going pro. They just they just like swap mid or they'll like 
they'll move in together and like genre will take the keyboard and IGP will yeah. take the mouse. It's like easy one on faker. Yeah, dude. All right, all right. Who's the faker and who's the easy hoon in that situation? I don't know, man. They're gonna have to play it out. See, the thing is, you got it. IGP is Korean, so. Oh, shit. You know, because because IGP and I have a great relationship, I'm gonna call him the easy hoon, and I'm gonna call him <laughs> the faker. Fun fact: His name is, actually, no, his name is Han. But uh. Uh, play to win. Play to win called him Hoon all the time. <laughs> that's, that's how you just did. It's like Hoon, Hoon, Hoon. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. When. Yeah. So, but interestingly, Easy Hoon right now has the better KDA in competitive or for this season. Anyway, that's really sure, off topic. Oh, the faker damage. Yes, the faker damage. We'll talk about this off 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 the show. Uh, anyway, uh, I actually Spy Scout said. That I know, I actually don't know, um, but I will probably find out before the announcement time, because I'm cool. Anyway, um, so PAX is going to be really cool if you guys are coming to PAX. I know some people from the IC community like uh, Nick and Katy Perry, who held up his three-day pass upside down, um, and a bunch of the other F3 guys like Ryder, Beastin, um, I know Kate, this is going to be at PAX. What's up? Not that I don't worry about it. All right. Um, but uh, Genfo will also be at PAX with Maestro. So uh, if you guys are stopping by PAX East and want to chill at the IC booth for a little bit, uh, definitely do. Uh, it's going to be really, really cool. So uh, do we have anything else to talk about? Nah. All nope. right. All right. Uh, so let's let's do uh, shout outs and sign offs then. So, uh, so Tur, do you have any shout outs you want to make? Yeah, man. Shout outs to Kathy. Uh, shout outs to my boys on Team C. Uh, I'm going pro. You suck. I hate you. So, uh, shout outs to everyone on your team, but him. No, he, I'm shouting him out, especially that I hate oh, him and he sucks. Okay, okay. He, he just needs to know. But shout outs to everybody else. Uh, shout outs to Katy Perry, my yeah. waifu. And, uh, it's waifu, dude. Waifu. Uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> All right. Uh, GS, do you have any shout outs? Uh, shout outs to you guys. Shout outs to Detonator, the god. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> I'm not sure about that. Oh, my God. <laughs> and that's about it. All right. Katy Perry. Uh, shout out to my team. Shout out to Nick. We're money matching again. Whoever loses has to donate to charity. And then, uh, right. on Thursday. Since Coast City is going to be out and my roommates are ridiculous and making me wake up at 7, I'm going to be doing an all-night stream on Coast City. So check that out. I hope the queue times aren't that bad. I might go on to Europe. But I don't know. Uh -huh. But it's going to be fun. I'll be at oh. PAX. Come say hi. Come fight me. Yeah, let's go. Oh. One last shout-out. Shout-out to Matt. Mal. Mm -hmm. Mecca Malfred. Shout-out. Yeah, Mal's a god. Yeah. All right. Uh, so... Again, uh, shout-outs to everybody watching. I really appreciate you guys tuning in. Thank you to my guests, except for Telekinetic, who is, like, not talking, and he left to go eat because he's a scumbag. Uh, uh, so shout-outs to all my guests. Shout-outs, uh, again, to Turbine. They're, you know, they give us something to talk about for, like, two and a half hours every couple weeks, and they're flying me out to... Uh, to PAX again this year so really really nice of them um, and you know PAX is always really really exciting it's like you know bunch of people bunch of video games like what's not to love um, so shout outs to them and uh, yeah that's really much pretty much it if you guys want to tune into Katy Perry stream because he's going to be doing that 24 hour thing definitely do it uh, I could not stream for 24 hours that would be that would be super hard so Katy Perry, what's your what's your stream link? It's twitch.tv slash Katy Perry. Katy Perry, yeah. Okay. So yeah, tune in to Katy Perry, guys. His stream's great. Um, yeah. So uh yeah, that's pretty much it. So thank you guys for watching uh Podcast Prime episode, I believe, fifteen. Can't believe we did fifteen of these things. Uh and I'll we'll see you guys later. <laughs>